All right, so today we're going to be working on an interesting new experiment. So there's a common problem with the 2013 through 16 MacBook Air with water damage, where the, there's a line to the CPU that gets killed. Okay, so what happens when this line to the CPU gets destroyed is you'll see something like this. It'll say, Bluetooth keyboard setup, there isn't a keyboard connected. As you'll see, I can't move the mouse around, and the caps lock key on the keyboard here doesn't work at all. So... The caps lock key is not turning green. However, if I turn it off and then I hold down the option key, I can use the mouse. The mouse will move around. I can click. I can choose a Wi-Fi network. And I can even type and hit backspace. So the keyboard and the trackpad that are not working in the operating system work fine when I'm here in EFI mode. And the reason for this is that the machine is going to use a different data line with the CPU when it's in EFI mode versus when it's in the operating system. So there's SPI data line where the trackpad sends the keyboard and the trackpad signal to the CPU as an SPI data line, and that's for when it's in the operating system. When you're in EFI mode, it sends the trackpad and keyboard signal muxed to the CPU as a USB data signal. Why does Apple use a USB data line when you're in EFI mode and an SPI data line when you're in the operating system? Fuck if I know. Um, but it does. And it's just, it, it's another th it's a, just another thing that can die. So here, the SPI data line for the trackpad to the CPU is, is, is screwed. So that doesn't work. So what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to convert this. On my trackpad connector, I'm getting my 3 volts. At pin 10, a very common cause is if you don't have 3 volts at pin 10, you won't get trackpad and keyboard working. But here I do. And another common cause is, let's say, SMC lid is, uh, is stuck down or anything like that. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how it is we make this thing stuck in USB mode all the time. And then we are going to, after putting it in USB mode, I'm going to see if it works with this bidirectional data line to the CPU. And if that doesn't work, we're going to tie it to another data line that's available. So USB, so the first thing we have to do is see how we get this thing out of SPI mode, even when we're in the operating system. So let's take a look at how that works. So here we have trackpad USB if enable connected, which seems obvious enough to me. And then we have trackpad SPI if enable connected. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of trackpad SPI if con and keep trackpad USB if con. This logic gate, trackpad USB if con is present, which is present when trackpad USB if enabled is present and PM sleep S4L is present. Meaning, if we're in an S4 state and trackpad USB if enabled from the PCH is coming through, then we will get this on output. Now, obviously, I'm always going to want this here, even when we're in the operating system. And one thing to keep in mind is that the PCH may not send this signal when we boot into the operating system, so I'm going to have to force it there all the time. The next thing to consider over here is trackpad SPI if enable. That's most likely going to uh, allow this signal to come through if we are in an operating system. So I want to get rid of this signal. Which is actually a, really an easy thing to do. I'm just going to take you and do this. So now USB is always going to be high. And the USB line, well, let's, let's see if it'll work in the operating system. Let's see if US. So I think now it's going to be more a question of whether A, did Apple implement drivers in the operating system for the trackpad and the keyboard to work via USB in addition to SPI? My second question is, is this standard? So you know how when you plug in a keyboard or a mouse, it's standard. It typically doesn't need any special drivers. So is the trackpad and the keyboard in this laptop standard? to the point where I don't need special drivers in the operating system, to which, yeah, I'm not getting paid for this repair. So <laughs> I'm probably not getting paid for this. But let's, let, let, let's see. One way to find out, right? So let's, let's plug this in. So now what we've done is we've pretty much forced USB to be on. And we're going to boot into the operating system and see what shows up. Caps lock doesn't work. Trackpad doesn't work. It doesn't see a keyboard. Now, just for the hell of it, I want to see if it still works in EFI mode. 
It looks like I do have trackpad and keyboard in EFI mode. So the only difference between the operating system and EFI mode, as far as the system is concerned, is that it doesn't have drivers for the keyboard and the trackpad once you've entered the operating system. That... That is bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. The operating system doesn't have USB drivers for the trackpad inside the OS. You know what would really be funny? <laughs> if a Linux disk did. You know how funny it would be if a Linux disk actually allowed the internal trackpad and keyboard to work in the operating system and OS X didn't? I'm kind of curious. Let me see if I have a bootable Linux USB here. It's actually difficult to plug in the USB when this is not in the case. It's rather challenging. So we're going to choose EFI boot. Directly start graphical environment. Okay, this is system rescue CD, so it's not exactly a great distribution for, the, for this type of test. It's not like it's going to come with a bunch of software and the best GUI, but this, this should be fine just for testing purposes. So let's... Okay. We're going to be selling this customer on a, on a conversion to Linux. <laughs> this person's going to... Let's see, what do we get? Eh? It's asking me to load key map. Ho ho, it's loading a key map. And the enter key is working. Oh my god. Oh my god, tell me this shit works in Linux and not Windows. What the fuck? Oh my god. OS 10 does not have drivers for the fucking trackpad that Linux does. Look at this. Okay, we're booted into System Rescue CD. I'm booted into System Rescue CD. We're gonna zoom in. Uh, let me just, l can I lower the screen brightness? Do you have drivers or who are we kidding? There's no drivers for shit. This is fucking Linux. Uh, so let's see. Brightness key. Eh, we don't have that. So I have to lower the, seriously, I have to lower the ISO on the camera for you to see this. All right. Let me, I'm going to lower the ISO on the camera so that you can see this on the screen. Let's see. Will that do it? All right. So hopefully now you can track my cursor which is over here, and it's going to move in a little circle. You see my cursor moving? Now this is me typing, fuck, actually let me, let me just move this over here. So I'm going to type on this, fuck Apple drivers who says they are best at integrating their hardware with their software. So, uh, so my proof of concept here is, is confirmed. Does multi-touch work? Dude, I'm, I'm using... It, 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 it's, it's, it's System Rescue CD. What do you mean multi-touch? What are you, out of your mind? It's multi... I mean, I could use, I could use Ubuntu. I, should, I could make an Ubuntu disk to figure this out. But yeah, so there's this whole idea, there's this concept that Apple hardware is just, it, it blends so well with the software. There's this synergy, this integration. And when you get a drop of something on the SPI data line, it dies. But wait, Apple has a USB data line to the CPU just in case your SPI data line dies. That only works if you don't use an Apple operating system. The fuck is wrong with you people? Oh my god. The day like System Rescue C D has a driver for the keyboard and the trackpad that OS ten does not. Like I mean, really? Seriously, like is this the level that we're at? Where you're not where you, where you, this is not built into the operating system. If anybody watching this would like to program me a driver for the MacBook Air trackpad to work over USB and OS ten, uh Highly appreciated, hey, uh, you know, wouldn't argue with you there. So that's it for today, and as always, I hope that you learned something. And now, time for an advertisement. This is our website here, mailin.repair. You will be able to find uh, most of the different cleaners, stencils, connectors, ICs, and uh, small chips that we use throughout these repairs on this website. So here you'll find the ultrasonic cleaner that we use at the store that's fixed many of the boards that I was unable to fix in the video. This here is shipped straight from the store. Here you'll see a bunch of LCD connectors. Uh, we've got keyboard connectors. We've got digitizer connectors, and they're all organized here. So if you go connectors by type, 
or you can search by your device. So if we go here, components by device, iPhone, iPhone 6S, it'll bring you to a screen where you'll find a bunch of different parts for your iPhone. The same is true for stencils. We've got stencils over here, like the SMC stencil, that it's typically hard to buy directly in America. You'll have to wait a long time to get that from China. Here we've got the... Uh, some different parts like the um, PP3V42 regulator over here. So this is a PP3V42 regulator. You can actually search by the number on the schematic. And if there are different chips with that same number, it'll bring up all the different chips. You can scroll down and figure out which one is for your motherboard. Because over here, it'll say compatible boards, and it'll list all the boards the chip is compatible with. If you don't want to deal with that, you can even just search by your motherboard. So if I search over here for 820-3462, it will only show me chips that are compatible with my model motherboard. And this was all put together with high-resolution pictures so that you can compare it to your chip to make sure that you buy the right one. And if you ever have a question, feel free to email, feel free to comment, feel free to live chat. So thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very much for your patronage if you use our website. We've also got Flux here if you want Flux. We've got... Uh, solder paste over here if you want solder paste and we've even got mouse pads with pictures of my asshole of a cat